Here is the 2010 to 2015 Hyundai Tucson. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Let's go ahead and pop the lift gate. There is a light right there. Get it up like halfway through so you can comfortably rest your hand over there and still reach the lights. You will need a flathead screwdriver for this job. One that looks like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the screwdriver to pry it out from right at that edge. That clip over there. Yep, that's it. So we're going to get it in there and push the clip in. And while it's pushed in, we're also going to try and pull the light out. So in and out. Okay, that's the motion, dual motion at the same time. Push it in and while it's pushed in, out. Once you get it out just as much, that's it. Now you can get it out the rest of the way with your fingers. It's out. Now what you can do is hold the black light and twist the gray bulb holder left or alternatively you can hold the gray bulb holder steady and twist the black light left right yep it's loose get the light out and there's the bulb right over there to get the bulb out just grab the bulb and pull it out straight you may have to wiggle it but it'll come right out the bulb size is 168 or 194 or t10 again 168 or 194 or t10 get the new bulb and align it over there with the pins in the bulb holder and push it in in place and that's good Get the black light back on and make sure the gray bulb holder completely drops into the light. You may have to wiggle it, twist and turn a little bit for a few seconds, but make sure it drops in just the way I show over here. That's it. That's good. See how it looks? That's what it should look like. And once it looks like that, now just grab the bulb holder, the gray bulb holder, and twist it right to lock it in place a little bit, just like that. And that's it. Now it's locked. Now when you put in the light back in, the inside side, that should go in and sort of go inside. Let's pause right over here and focus on this. Look like it's dropped inside the lift gate. Only then push the other side and that's it. It's locked in place. That's what it should look like. And you're done here. Let's repeat this process for the right side light. Again, it's the same process, same everything. And apologies for my hand being in, in the view of the camera. But all I'm trying to do over here is show that it's the exact same process just as the left side one. Get the light out. And now we'll twist the bulb holder left out same thing the bulb comes out straight same bulb size 168 or 194 or t10 get the new bulb and push it back in to secure it in place now get the black light put the gray bulb holder back in make sure it's sitting flush like that see it just drops in yep that is good now just twist it right to lock it in place and again let's put the light back into the tailgate again the inside side goes in first and it's just sort of just drop in yep and see, when I don't do it right, I'm going to have trouble putting the light back in. See that? That's why it's important to put the inside side in first. Looking good. Push the other side and lock it in place. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and try this out. Turn the lights on. And it's looking good. Hope you found it useful.